Hey, welcome to my channel. I am Honey Owlet Moon, and I am going to be sharing very eclectic, crafty, thrifty uh, kind of um, things on my channel. I want to first um, acknowledge all the wonderful beautiful witches out there who have shared themselves and their their ways with us. Um, and to also acknowledge all the other witches who, who watch their channels and they comment and they help and they share and they just make the community what it is. Beautiful, um, helpful, um, very positive, majority wise very positive, supportive group, and I hope what I do here is either um, entertaining, um, mostly helpful, <laughs> for um, witches who are either trying to save money, or don't have money, or just would love to recycle and kind of give back a little bit. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's backtrack. I get off subject all the time. It, that's just how my mind works. It's just over here. <laughs> so, back to acknowledging the witches that are on YouTube that I've seen that inspired me. Our first, first um, witch I ever saw was Tiptoe Chick. Tiptoe chick, love you girl, you're awesome, you're amazing, I miss you. A lot of us are, a lot of us miss you, but understandable, it's called life, life. Um, but you know, we always have your videos to kind of go back to and, and learn from. Uh, I learned a lot of herb stuff from you. Excellent, great. I collect uh, Patron bottles because of you now. <laughs> I don't drink them, maybe a little bit, but um, it's nice being a bartender. <laughs> so. Trauma bottles, herbs. Okay, next. Lady Grave Dancer, you are amazing. You opened up new doors for me. I can't thank you enough, and thank you for sharing all your wonderful tidbits and knowledge and um, wonderful positive acceptance and I think you have really helped bring the community together. Um, you and Trina, uh, Sun Sunshine Morning Ray and Ravenflower, you guys are awesome, amazing, wonderful, beautiful ladies and when you guys get together, it's just so fun to watch, fun to listen to, and fun to learn from. I love it. Uh, and so genuine so genuine you know because <sighs> trying to go on here and trying to be perfect and proper it's gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you <laughs> you know and so it's not it's not you guys are realistic you guys are real and I appreciate that I think a lot of us would do um no Tempestari Love you, man. You are awesome. You're so positive and your input. Love your input. Also, uh, there's a few other ones like Ember Honey Raven. Ember Honey, sorry. Ember Honey Raven. You're awesome. Uh, Witchy Bear. Um, it's, yeah, there's, there's so many. There's so many. Um, yeah, keep going. All right, so that's my shout out. Now I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be talking about this whole winter because here in Alaska, yeah, I'm up north, Fairbank, uh, North Pole, Alaska. Yeah, North Pole, Alaska. Um, so here in North Pole, Alaska, we get like six months of six months of winter cold like 
you know, uh, 10 to like 60 below, you know, cold weather, we hibernate, we hibernate in this time. And so, there's going to be a lot of crafting going on, yeah. No cabin fever this year. <laughs> Take your, I'll be taking my vitamins and doing lots of crafts. Okay, first of all, um, I will have a video on like just simple what to do with jars that you use every day. Whether you're making spaghetti, you have spaghetti sauce jars, you know, how to just clean them how to get the labels off, um, just kind of just ideas like that. Re so recycling bottles, thrifting bottles, and chalices. Okay, so thrifty finds. This is like a bluish green glass, and I don't have to do anything to this. This is so beautiful. Right? Beautiful. Beautiful size. It's just so, it's like a goblet. I love it. So that's my chalice. Um, but I find you can probably take other glasses and create beautiful things on it through either paint or um, blue crystals or like uh, seashells to it. You know, different things you can do. I might, I might do some of those. Oh, other things. Rock painting. So, if you make your your own magical inks, or just buying a magical ink, or just ink in general, or paint, acrylic paint, um, you can create plaques for your like garden or your altar. Um, just simple ideas like that. Find round flat river stones, which I have a lot of these. Um, you can paint, I've seen um, paintings on like Pinterest where they have raven, like ravens and the goddess symbol and um, things like that. Just crafty things. I'm going to share some of that. Wood burning. So earlier I made a um, a wooden, it was actually on pine, it's like one, one by ten, it was like a one by ten, yeah, one by eight or one by ten, um, piece of pine, and I wood burned, and I made it into a spirit board for, uh, crescent moon, yeah, I knew I missed one, crescent moon, you're awesome, crescent moon and lady grave dancer, their spirit talk. I made one for that. I didn't want to draw it on paper, so I wood burned it. So just different things like that. Also, an altar I made, traveling altar I made a while ago. I can so I can share some of these ideas with you. Very crafty, unique ideas. Um, do, 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 do. jewelry making, simple jewelry making. I'll share my my just simple jewelry making. So I made this from just a bunch of craft items I have just laying around. And I'm like, I better do something with that or I'm going to have to get rid of it. So this is a wooden feather. Not a wooden feather, sorry, a bone feather. And um, just little trinkets, skull. So making a few things for this time of year where, where everything's going dormant here soon. <laughs> um, also, I made this for a dance project. And it's just a quartz, uh, quartz crystal. You know, it has three, three points on it, actually. And I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So it has three stars. And this is my very first wire work, so it's not very pretty, but it's, it works. 
it works. So I will be sharing my trials <laughs> with wire work. I'm just starting, so it's not perfect. Um, and I will share things I've learned, and maybe you guys can share a little bit with me through the comments. Like, if you do this, it would come out better, you know? Um, I have no problem with constructive uh, criticism, um, as long as we're helping each other out. That's the goal, right? Okay, so, I will be sharing some books, too, like this book. Very good for when you're beginning, and you, terminology, full of terminology. Excellent. Um, spellcrafts. So I'll be going over some, some, you know, some books that I like, what I take from them. What I leave, <laughs> maybe not what I leave, but things like that. Stones. Stones, okay. So, this is the Encyclopedia of Crystals by Judy Hall. She also makes, I think she also makes the Bible, Crystal Bibles, so. Wonderful book, I'm so excited share stones and what I know of stones and possibly get a little bit from from you all as well. Alright, so we're gonna be discovering runes. Like book says, discovering runes. Um I know a little of runes. Um I so I, I look for runes everywhere. I don't know why I keep looking down here. <sighs> okay. Look at the light, Shana. <laughs> um, look at the light, honey. <laughs> so we'll be going over runes um, and learning a little bit about runes. Okay. Now, we're going to be going over Book of Shadow Ideas. Okay, so there's many ways you can make a book of shadows. Many ways you can just create it from scratch. But I have my book of shadows. And it's like three books right now. And I have them separated um, by like oils and incense blends and um, different things like that. You can probably use one for like uh, Gris Gris or Grigri, Mojo, whatever, whatever you want to call those. Um, you have ones just for like candle magic or you have ones for um, separating uh, stone and herbs correspondences. Like, I mean, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Nice thing about that is inside of each one, they're not really organized. And I love that idea because it's less stressful for me. So that's just my idea. Um, also, wherever you go, maybe you get free samples of things or just pretty much anything. Just look at anything mundane. Like this is a sample from like Home Depot <laughs> of laminate flooring. I thought, and I leg legitimately got it. To like test for my own flooring because you know we built our house and it's not all the way finished we don't have flooring and that's okay we have plywood painted plywood and one day I would like to get flooring and I was looking at this it's this so cool it's like black black like worn wood looks like black worn wood and I was thinking this part since this is just a sample I can cut it, make it into either a pentagram, a star, or um, like a raven, like cut into a raven. Uh, you know, I can make uh, like earrings from it. You can make jewelry from this. You can make um, altar like you know plaques or. Uh, any kind of crafty, artsy design you want to do. 
I didn't get these in stone. I mean, there's so many, you need to use this for something, you know? So, ideas, crafty. It's the, the craftiness to me. Um, hmm. Jars, stones, we talked about stones. Wood burning. Um, now, energy raising. Okay, so I'm a uh, Middle Eastern dancer. And most Americans know that as uh, belly dance. Middle Eastern belly dance. Um, a rock shaki. It's, it's, it's um, one of the oldest forms of dance. And done for uh, certain rites. Um, way, way back in the day. Uh, for, you know, um, women's... Um, different passages, you know, in a woman's life from child, from childbirth, from ch being a child into, you know, growing into a woman, giving birth, um, celebrations, women dancing for women. That's what it used to be, you know? Um, so it's, it's also, it's great for energy raising. It's also good for grounding. And so I'm going to kind of possibly go over a little bit of that and um, do a little demonstration, maybe teach, teach a few things. Uh, so I forgot where I was. Um, anyways, uh, I will be sharing a lot of just different random things because that's just how I work. Um, yeah, thank you. I, I hope what I do share is either entertaining um, and helpful, or just helpful at least. <laughs> That's what I hope. So um, let's keep sharing, let's keep the love going, let's keep the community strong, and uh, <coughs> blessed be. Thank you. Blessed be.